welcome back to Football Digest. KE, my name is Nyash, and today I'm going to be doing the Extra Digest version alongside Webby slash Webby star, a national fan. So we're going to be checking with him what has been popping over the weekend as far as Premier League goes, uh, the few talking points that are there to talk about. I love to angalia midweek kutakwaji, there's some few Champions League games and uh, Europa League, nothing much to talk about there. All right, so Webby, how are you doing, bro? How are you doing? How have you been? Hey, not so good. And I know you can imagine why. <laughs> it's quite obvious. I don't have to ask you why. Yes, it's quite obvious. Wow. Our, our, our team is in the gutter, but we are in the gutter, right in the middle. Of, as in, ah, I, I don't even know where to start with Arsenal. Let's not start with Arsenal. Due to Kianza and I are to Tamaliza. Uh, mm. There's not much to talk about, honestly, besides right. Arsenal, mm-hmm. because all these other teams. Right. They, you know, right. But let's start off with Manchester United. Yeah. Southampton, uh, Southampton to Rajua Kony, tricky ground. They went there, they trimmed 2 nil. You can imagine trailing 2 nil against Southampton and thinking you have a chance. And out of it, they actually overturned it to a 3 2 win. What did you take of that win for them? Because for me, that was huge. No, it was huge because uh, Southampton are actually a very organized team. Mm-hmm. And uh, they are well coached. Yes. They are well drilled. And they have quality in key areas. You can see the kind of quality James Ward Prowse uh, provides from midfield. Yeah, yeah. And um, we also we, we we can also see they are a bit solid and they can be efficient. And now for United, uh, they also had quality of their own that made the difference in Bruno Fernandes. Because mm. for me, he was very key in the way that they they play the in, in the way he dictates the game from midfield, the late runs he makes into the box. Mm. Yeah, and I know many really uh, give him a lot of uh, banter because of his penalties, but let's face it, he does give them an extra dimension going forward. So, yes, and uh, Edinson Cavani is not the most prolific of strikers in terms of uh, finishing off chances. Mm -hmm efficiency wise but he's a good finisher and both know when chances present themselves he'll he'll more likely than not put them away yeah and that's what happened so yeah. would you say like the way he converted them it's maybe down to him being quite experienced so he knows maybe the kind of moves to make inside the box and when to make the move i'm gonna need actually, to luck <laughs> yes he, he actually Finding the back of the net is his specialty. He's not known for his ability with the ball at his feet or creating chances for his teammates. Mm-hmm. He's known, his, uh, his main strength is getting on the end of those, uh, of those chances. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, those two made the difference. Yeah, indeed. indeed. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like for Man United now, maybe it's, it's an option that maybe they should start considering now, maybe starting Cavani as... It's something that they should be maybe doing often as a striker, but like we're in a Greenwood Palace, G Mara Martial. Actually, it's true. Uh, they can do four three three with a Greenwood and maybe Rashford, mm. and they can even play four four two. But problem with four four two, they don't have uh, Nemanja Matic is is past his best, mm. and we saw it against Southampton because they were overrun in midfield. Yes, they were. So, yeah, they, they, and uh, as I had said it in one of our forums, uh, they need to get a midfield linchpin, a holding midfielder who can sit in front of the back four and uh, complement what uh, Donny van de Beek and uh, the likes of Pogba and now Bruno bring. Mm. So if they can get a defensive midfielder who can sit, then their midfield will look good again. Because that's the only player they are missing in midfield. Yeah, yeah. Mm, uh, just, uh, yeah. A ball, a ball-winning central midfielder who will just patrol that area. Mm. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, what about Chelsea? Are you still convinced about Chelsea? Do you, do you think like they, they look like a team now? We should be. Or I'm sure we are, but we should be giving them more attention now in terms of maybe title contenders. Do you, do, are you, do you think they are yet there? I'm a bado in your own opinion alongside teams like Tottenham, who are now league leaders as we speak right now. What, what are you thinking about them as we proceed and get deeper and deeper into the season? Okay, Chelsea, Chelsea have that quality going forward. 
if you come against them and you defend poorly, they'll destroy you. Because you see players like Havertz, players like um, Timo Werner, they'll create and score chances. Mm-hmm. Chelsea will definitely have, they will get chances in games. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing that was a problem when the season started was uh, their, uh, their defensive side of the game, when they did not have the ball. Yeah. Kurt Zuma is growing as the season goes, as the season uh, wears on. Mm-hmm. He's growing into the season. And um, uh, uh, Frank Lampard has started using football common sense. He's playing Golo Kante in his preferred role. Yes. And that's the DM role. And that's why all of a sudden Chelsea look good again. Mm-hmm. So if they keep up those performances, they'll be in the mix, definitely. It's all about consistency. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Spas. Spurs, it's a double-edged sword. This is a team that does not know, that um, that doesn't have any knowledge or experience of winning, but their manager does. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can see Mourinho is, uh, has built his team. You see the work that Pierre-Emil Hoiberg is doing in the middle of the park. Yeah, big teams. Yeah. Big yes, team. he's the guy who is patrolling that area in front of the back four. And then, of course, Son and Kane. Mm. And then complemented by the likes of Bergwijn. So, I don't think Spurs can sustain a title challenge. Mm. But they have a manager who can make them sustain a title challenge. Yeah. So, it's all down to the players. But we'll see. They are still in it. They are still in it, yeah. They are very much in it. All right. All right. I'm sure we shall be doing maybe more by the time we are done with December now because we are right into the December period, which is always hectic. All right. Leave alone Spurs. Now let's talk about the team that is having a lot of problems as far as we are concerned. <laughs> what exactly is it? Is it a system? Is it a personal problem? Is it a personnel in terms of players? Is it a personnel in terms of coach? What exactly is ailing us, Webby? You know, first and foremost, and I think you see me saying it, uh, when we say trust the process, mm. the process was always going to be painful. Where we you are right now. Yeah. Yes. You know, when you look at teams that have trusted a process in all of sports, mm has been a painful journey because you you look at Man United when Sir Alex came. Mm -hmm. They had five painful years. It was painful. Those United fans old enough to remember it, it was painful Mm -hmm. until they won the FA Cup in 1990. Mm -hmm. You see clubs like Chelsea and City don't trust a process. Yeah, that much. It's about bottomless pockets. They go out there and they get the players who have the quality to instantly yeah. face things. Mm-hmm. who galvanize those players. So you look at a team like Man United. Mm. They trusted a process and it was painful for them. Before they first, they, you know, they won the FA Cup in 1990, the Cup Winners Cup in 1991, the League Cup, the Carabao in 1992, and then the Premier League in 1993. So between 1986 and 1990, there were five painful years. Okay. And I, there is a game they lost at home to Crystal Palace, and the fans went mental. I mean, so for them, mm. so for us, and I keep saying, the worst is yet to come. Because remember, oh, unlike hold Sir Alex... On, hold on, hold on. Did you say the worst is yet yeah. to come? <laughs> the worst is yet to come, because let me tell you... Mm-hmm. Look at United as a reference point again. Mm-hmm. Sir Alex was already a successful manager at Aberdeen. Mm-hmm. Before he came to United, yes. Before he came to United. Mm. Mikel Arteta has no managerial experience. At all. And this will be his... This is now where he's being... He, it's, you see the way you take a lamp of coal and mm-hmm. put it through fire. 
that's when you know whether it's going to turn into a diamond or it's going to remain a lump of coal. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, he's being put through fire. And let me tell you, you have a North London derby, and that's a game Arsenal fans hate to lose. Yes. And trust me, don't be surprised if we lose and lose heavily because those guys are playing. You saw what they did to United, by the way. <laughs> if you remember, we, we are not solid in midfield. Yes. That's the problem. We are not controlling games. Yes. Because we lack a ball winner who will sit in front of the back for and recycle possession the way Thomas Party does. Mm. And at the same time, when we don't have the ball, has the athleticism and agility to get after teams in midfield. Mm. That's what Patty gives us. And that is why we won at United. And he was a big reason as to why we won at United. Yeah, indeed. You saw the way Granny Jacker was overrun in midfield. By Wolves. Against Wolves. So, when you don't have that player who can protect the back for the back four remains exposed. Mm. Because, look, uh, many fans have been saying that Ateta needs to revert to a back four. He did. Yes. He said Aubameyang should play centrally. He did. He did play. So he is open to changing things when they don't work. Mm. Now the problem is the players need to be mentally tough to turn this around. Good thing is in Europe, things don't look so bad. Yeah. Uh, okay, because something else, by the way, if you are doing badly on both ends. Now, that's why I still support him. Because you look at Emery last season, you were doing poorly in the league and poorly in Europe. Mm. Actually, by the time Ateta took over the team, you we were being eliminated. Yes. From the Europa League group stages, yeah. if you remember. So you see, for him, I think his strategy should be simple. The Premier League is a bit tough. He can use the cup games to give the team confidence. Because mm -hmm. now we have a quarterfinal clash wow. at the Carabao yeah. Cup with, with Man mean. City. Yeah. So you win that, the confidence comes. Qualify for the Europa League round of 16, round of 32. Mm. And now, there are things will get tough. Yes. Because you saw what Olympiacos did to us. Mm -hmm. So these players need to be professional. They need to concentrate over two legs. Yeah. And now they'll yeah. play an extra leg than those who are playing in the Champions League. So, yeah. for me, the North London derby is a game now they have no option. But to win. And, but win. And we've not won at Spurs since 2014. So again, it's a tough game. Six years. Six years. Let's say push when... comes to shove, yeah? Let's say push comes to shove and we actually don't win that game. What, what next after that? No, you see, they now need to embrace the pain. Because you see, at the end of the day, we lost their last season. Mm. <laughs> yes. So, what they need to do is focus and focus. Mm. But now our problem is in midfield. We don't have that recycle I was talking about and yeah. a creator. Because we're not creating chances. Yeah. Meaning we might when be seeing more of Xhaka? Uh, well, it depends because now party is uh, out for a while. Yes. So definitely you'll see more of him. But you see such a game, mm. this is a game you play 4-3-3 three, three and have El Nene in there. Mm -hmm. Because I don't like him. I have never rated him. But his skill set will suit that game. Yeah. Yes. Plus he's been doing uh, in the last couple of games, yes. Yes, so that's a game that would suit him. Mm. But first and foremost, take care of business on Thursday. Mm. And make sure that we still top spot so that we get an easier draw. Yeah. The round of 32. Yeah. Because you see, again, Nyash in Europe, it's about being professional from day one. You know, I'm seeing rival fans are giving us banter and saying that you're in a very easy group, you're playing part timers and carpenters, which is all good, mm -hmm. but win your games. Because you see, what has been plaguing us in Europe, we are never professional from the group stage, especially in the Champions League when we used to play. Then we finish second and get Bayern and get Barca and get Liverpool and get. When you finish first, you give yourself a chance. 
to draw a second team and that's one round more and you get to the quarterfinals. Now from there, things will now flow. Yeah. But now to win that thing, we will need to concentrate and be at our best. Mm. It's mentally exhausting. Because you see now, there are teams that will come from the Champions League. Yeah. Yes, and uh, so, Europa League, the round of 16, you a whole other different dimension. Exactly. Mm. So we need to now take care of business on Thursday. Mm. On Sunday, it's WD. Yeah. Go out there and give your best. Because you will not come and lose 4 nil, 5 nil, and expect. That's a game. By the way, that's one game. If we win. I don't know how we are going to do that because we are not creating chances. Yeah, That's enough. Yeah, and they are creating chances, and they have players who will finish them in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. So that's a problem. That's... As long as Son and Kane are around, mm. and then another thing, you see that back four playing with David Luiz in a back four is suicide. You saw it against Is it, is it holding? Yes. yes. So holding should play if it's a back four. Mm. Because now those are the small things that will make a difference. Wow. Let me ask you, um, Obamayang, we wanted, before I go to the center back issues, because I'll, I'll look at it. Obamayang, we wanted him to play centrally. And mm-hmm. eventually did play centrally, but still nothing is happening for him. He has been playing for a long time on the wings. Nothing is happening for him since he signed the team. What is going on there? Is it because you're not creating you enough chances? Is it because... Definitely. I don't know. What is it? Yes, we are not creating enough chances. Because you see, mm. Aubameyang is not a striker who will go and get the ball from midfield like the way Aguero will do. Mm. Or Messi. Mm-hmm. Or Luis Suarez. No, or Lewandowski. He runs off the shoulder of the defender, which means he needs a player who will thread those balls for him to run on to. You don't have that player. So, uh, Ateta needs to devise a way to get a player who can get close to Aubameyang. And I'm thinking that will change when Gabi Gol comes back. Gabriel Martinelli. Martinelli. Yes, because he's that player who, who is a direct runner. He'll run at you. He'll come and get the ball from out wide. And he'll get on the end of chances. Mm. So he'll be an interesting option to have. Because right now, Edin Ketia and Alex Lacazette, the less I say about them, the better. The better, yeah. Let's just not talk about them. <laughs> when is Gabi coming back? I'm not sure, but maybe, maybe this month or early next year. I hope it's sometime so, this month. I hope. We need to get through this month alive because you see now when the January transfer window Mm -hmm. comes now, they need to go out there and get a midfielder who can create. But this is not the first time it's happened to Arsenal because in 1998-99, surprisingly, we were the defending champions, but we were creating very little. Oh. And that's why, we did, yes, that's why we did not win the title because we were drawing games we should have been winning and losing games we should have been drawing or winning. Mm. We were not cre- because you see, teams figured us out so they could shut down over mass and back up. And Nicolas Anelka was young, mm. so once they shut us down, basically, we were a defensive team because you see, Vieira and Petit were good at brawling yeah so for me i think and that's why venga went into the market and brought in perez you see freddy was still learning the game so that is why it was uh very imperative for him to create chances so now he went, that's why he in situation now we are not creating chances now, now. Exactly. And in 2008-2009, that was the same issue. You see, teams figured out, figured us out when we play 4-4-2, they shut down Nazri and Fabregas. Mm-hmm. That was it. Van Persie was still young and erratic and he'd get... There's a game Stoke kicked us off the park and he got sent off 
for head batting Sorensen. So teams figured us out. So Venga, that's why he went. There's a game, there is a time we we drew about three consecutive games nil nil in January. Mm. So Venga went in and brought a Shavi. Ah. So yes. All right. So yeah, we we're in, a, we're in the same spot. So they need to address it in January. All right. Um mm. speaking of January, I just hope like before then we can get through this cup period because that cup period Kadek can acquire make or break for most teams. I hope we can get through it. And then we get to January in uh transit transfer is my payment. Round E, I think they know how bad the situation is. They need to transact that business early. See it to Africa Uko 20th January in Abadu Atunam say. Actually, they need to because you see, uh most of these players we are going to get mm. are um, cup tied. Will be cup tied in the Europa League. Because mm. mm. if you get Sobo Sly, Wali 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 Toa Yokito. Or Awa Wali Toa. Come yeah, on, Wali Toa. It's, it's okay. Kau la chizu kwa chiza Champions League when the team na chiza Europa, you can play and vice versa. Ah, uh, that will be okay. But they need to get the business done as soon as possible. Mm. So who do you want us to get? Um, I imagine there there has to be at least two players here. Uh, uh, you see, for now, the, uh, the way our situation is, mm. I think we'd better go for our because you see, our is ready to come in mm. and get things done. You see, Shobosla is still young and he's still learning, mm. so you don't want to come and uh, heap a lot of expectations on his young shoulders. Yes, mm. but you get the feeling like if if Shobosla is gonna move, he's gonna move maybe to Arsenal or Leipzig. He's gonna move to a big club where. But look, there are expectations too. So does it? But you see, if he moves to Leipzig, mm. there is no pressure because they don't have problems like we have. Yeah, yeah, there's that. Yes, yeah, there's they that. they don't have the kind. Of, yes, yeah. so maybe the, for the the way the situation is, our would be ideal. But oh. you see, yes, mm. but I like the way yeah, Shobos like plays. Because he he plays the way, the same way maybe a, a Bruno Fernandez plays. Mm. Good on on set pieces. He gets on the end of things. He makes those late runs from midfield. Mm. And definitely he has an eye for a pass. Yes. But you see, and uh, now the problem is he's not as versatile as our. You've seen our in the French team even play on the left. Mm. He can drift, but the one thing our uh, doesn't have that uh, Shobosly has is the uh, uh, goals and product. Yes, and uh, and we don't blame him, but me as long as he can come and create, mm. that's what we are lacking. Is, is it possible to get the two? If you want to, yes, and it means one has to go. But you see, now we have to clear our wage budget. Mm. We're getting rid of the likes of Mustafi, the likes of Kolasinac. You see, now our problem is we are not able to sell our deadwood because they are yeah. so bad. And they are on, on hefty wages. So nobody wants them on a permanent deal and pay them that kind of money and they are not pro- productive. Yeah. Yes. Because you see, most of our players, they wanted them on loan, if you realize. And that is, an Arsenal want to sell, but they want them on loan because they know a loan deal is a risk-free deal. Mm. Yes. And they have done their homework. They know these players are erratic, but highly paid. Mm. Mm. All right. Um, I hope we get, I hope we get a one. Okay, for me, I would, if you can get the two, I would be very happy. I would be extremely happy. If you were to get the two, then we'll have to ship out a lot of, a lot of dead wood. Napa ni posiko shua, man. Um, but one guy, however, who's disturbing me, the fact that I've not seen him yet in action, I don't know if he's having the same uh, mentality on you, I'm the same feeling, is Saliba. Saliba, when he was coming in, I thought he was going to tear the league apart, or rather he's, he's going to get some good game time this season at least, because last season he ended on loan, now he's back, most likely he's going to play some game time. Sanaskia even could a possibility eh, when they in January on loan. As in, he can't be yeah, worse than Holy. He can't be worse than Akina Mustafi. Why the hell are we not giving this guy some I think, I think 
you may reason in is eh? mm. maybe the management has seen that maybe he's not ready mentally because yeah. you look at his partner uh for fana wesley mm. fana is ready and for fana is playing very well very well you fana is, you know, and i think for fana is younger than saliba by two years no the age mates the age mates yeah the age I think for fana is younger i have not checked but i thought for fana was young. Young. if i'm not wrong yeah. and you see mm. uh i think for me they must have seen something And you see, one thing I've learned about Arsenal, they are very secretive. They keep us speculating and guessing. The problem with our fan base, mm-hmm. it is so toxic. Yeah. So uh, the f- slightest thing just sets them ablaze. Mm-hmm. And uh, they need to realize now where we are, we've decided to build from scratch. You know, when you decide to build your house from scratch, there are times you'll sleep and the mosquitoes will get in through the open windows before yes. you are able to. So, but I think Saliba will still come good. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Because uh, you see, he's a young defender. You don't want his confidence to be shattered. Yes. But the club spent a lot of money on him, so he'll, he'll, he'll come back. He'll make a comeback. Even Gwendozi. Mm. As much as he has the pro- he had problems with Arteta, mm. I'm sure he'll come back as long as he fixes his attitude. He'll come back. Yeah. Wow. All right. Um okay, I don't think there's anything more to talk about uh to do with us no. Uh yeah, juu yenyewe ningekuuliza ni kuhusu akina Jaka, Sebaios who had terrible performances against Wolves. Do you think Jaka is going to stay for long at Arsenal or And, is, and we have not yet found the right partner for him what, what is what's up with that guy no you see uh, there's nothing much wrong with him mm. he, he had one of his poorest performances against wolves mm. ever since ateta came he's been performing well that was a rare performance yeah so we can only now start questioning him if he puts in and you see i can't start questioning jacka's performance and Aubameyang has been awful William has been awful Lacazette has been awful you see yeah. over a period of time to him yes him has been very consistent since december last year yeah all right this is actually uh, actually from december from since emery was sacked mm. this was his worst performance to date yeah come to think, think of it yes makes me feel like i should cut him some slack i look at newfi i feel like actually, it, Uh, me, me by the way i cut him i cut i did cut him some slack mm. because why would i criticize jaka yet obameyang is even performing even poor, or more poorly than he is mm. Mm. yes like as it william mm. yeah so i cut him some slack wow all right um all right let, let's see what's going to happen with us no i hope we're going to uh, change uh, you know Uh, 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 momentum moving forward you must to make terrible and and it doesn't get worse mm-hmm. than playing against a sparse team that is top of the league and it's a derby and you're to it's going to be tricky but i hope we're going to turn that around let's look at-